The burgeoning new energy sector has made China one of the countries with the fastest energy intensity reduction in the world. Uh, Chinese involvement in Ethiopian uh, renewable energy uh, sector is... As darkness still falls across half the African continent without electricity, a quiet revolution is underway. With China stepping in as a key investor, manufacturer, and development partner, Africa's renewable energy future is no longer a distant dream. It's becoming a reality. From solar belts to rural microgrids, this is the quiet surge of a green revolution. One village, one panel, one megawatt at a time. Africa's energy crisis meets a new partner. Across much of sub-Saharan Africa, nightfall doesn't just signal the end of the day, it brings a sudden, absolute silence. Entire villages go dark, lit only by kerosene lamps or the occasional candle. Even in urban areas connected to national grids, daily blackouts are the norm. Around 600 million Africans still live without access to electricity. Yet, at the same time, the continent possesses an enormous amount of renewable energy potential, particularly in solar, wind, hydro, and geothermal power. And it's in that vast gap between darkness and possibility that China is stepping in, not just with investment, but with innovation. Over the past few years, Beijing's clean energy companies, backed by state-led green finance and innovation, have poured into Africa with a focus not just on profit, but also on scalable, long-term impact. From small villages to large plants, in remote African communities, change often starts small. Some villages have installed Chinese photovoltaic panels to power microsolar stations. These systems, modest in size, have transformed daily life by giving students light to study at night, allowing families to boil water safely, and enabling local shops to extend business hours. In Kenya, this change has unfolded on a much larger scale. The Garissa Solar Power Plant, built by a Chinese company and now connected to the national grid, is East and Central Africa's largest grid-connected solar facility. At 55 megawatts, it not only generates energy, but also powers economic momentum. According to Hannington Gochi, a renewable energy expert at Kenya's Rural Electrification and Renewable Energy Corporation, the plant has played a crucial role in improving both production and daily living in northern Kenya. For local entrepreneurs like Elizabeth Wanjiku, who runs a food stall in Garissa town, the impact is immediate and personal. She used to rely on expensive and unreliable generators to power her refrigerator. Now, with a more stable grid supported by the solar plant, she's serving more customers and keeping food fresher without the overhead of constant fuel costs. We're experiencing fewer blackouts and enjoying the benefits of reliable electricity, she told Xinhua. Affordable tech, accessible power, what sets China apart in this effort isn't just the size of its projects, it's the affordability and scalability of its technology. From solar panels to batteries, China has built one of the world's most advanced and cost-effective clean energy supply chains. These technologies, now flowing into African markets, are giving countries access to tools that were once considered unaffordable. Brains Muchemwa, a leading Zimbabwean economist, emphasized that African nations have gained immensely from China's renewable energy boom. China's clean energy production capacity has enabled access to affordable solar panels and batteries that are transforming lives across Africa, Mukemwa told Xinhua. And despite criticism from some Western nations over China's global industrial capacity, Muchemwa says the results speak for themselves. Better quality of life, lower energy costs, and reduced dependence on fossil fuels. A solar belt to connect the disconnected. In September 2023, at the first African Climate Summit, China took its involvement a step further by announcing the Africa Solar Belt Initiative. Backed by 100 million yuan, roughly $14 million, the program focuses specifically on solar development in off-grid regions. The goal is to bring clean power to at least 50,000 families, starting with those in regions entirely cut off from traditional electricity grids. Rather than funding mega-projects alone, the Solar Belt program supports smaller-scale solar projects, which are faster to deploy and more suitable for rural environments. These solutions have already proven to be game-changers. In many areas, solar microgrids now provide enough energy to run water pumps, power fridges, charge mobile phones, and light up schools and health clinics. The program also coincides with a separate initiative launched at COP28 the 28th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. 
There, China and African partners rolled out a joint commitment to promote innovative small-scale clean energy projects. These efforts target precisely the communities that have historically been left out of national infrastructure plans, and they're showing real promise, policy shifts, and national commitments. Africa isn't waiting for change to come from outside. Over 70% of African countries have included clean energy as a priority in their nationally determined contributions under the Paris Agreement. From Kenya and Ghana to Ethiopia and South Africa, leaders are embracing renewable power not only as a climate necessity, but also as a cornerstone of national development. China's role in enabling these policies has been critical. By delivering affordable technology and providing financial backing, Chinese firms and state agencies are helping African governments turn their green commitments into on-the-ground realities. According to Fu Yike, Climate Program Manager at Development Reimagined, an Africa-led consultancy based in Beijing, China has supported at least 155 climate-related projects in Africa since 2021, with 66% focused on renewable energy. At present, over 40 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity in Africa is being supported by China. And if projects announced at the 2023 Beijing Summit of the Forum on China-Africa cooperation are fully realized, an additional 720 megawatts will be added. Few estimates that with this continued trajectory, Africa's total installed energy capacity could grow from 56 gigawatts as of 2022 to 204 gigawatts by 2030. Not just aid, but investment. A large part of China's involvement in Africa's green future comes through green finance mechanisms. These include concessional loans, public-private partnerships, and blended finance models, all of which are designed to reduce the risk for investors while catalyzing major infrastructure projects. Fu noted that many Chinese private investors have shown strong interest in Africa, but often face difficulties accessing traditional finance channels. With better coordination and smarter risk-sharing models, this private capital could be unlocked on a large scale. To bridge the gap between interest and execution, Fu called for a collective platform, a central hub that connects bankable, investment-ready African energy projects with Chinese and international investors. Such a platform could reduce the information divide that currently blocks so many promising ideas from reaching funding. Beyond finance, there are huge opportunities in areas like green bonds and carbon markets tools that remain underdeveloped in Africa, but could drive the next wave of clean investment if properly structured and implemented. Knowledge transfer and local innovation. But China's role is not just about building and funding, it's also about sharing expertise. One of the key recommendations raised by Fu and echoed by Beth Kamathi, Director of Credit at Edenbridge Capital in Kenya, was the importance of developing local manufacturing capacity for green technologies. This includes not only assembly plants for solar panels and wind turbines, but also research hubs, training programs, and startup incubators that can empower Africa's youth to lead the next generation of innovation. With more than 70% of Africa's population under the age of 30, the continent has the world's youngest workforce. Kimathi believes this demographic edge can be a powerful force if matched with the right technology and education. Africa holds 60% of the world's solar energy potential, she said, but we've deployed only 1% of global photovoltaic capacity. That's a gap she wants to see closed through skills development, local production, and sustainable job creation. She also pointed out that Africa has over 180,000 terawatt hours of offshore wind potential, 340 gigawatts of hydropower capacity, and the chance to produce more than 50 million metric tons of green hydrogen by 2035. All of these resources can be converted into wealth, jobs, and cleaner air if the infrastructure is put in place to do so. China and Africa in the Global Climate Equation As the world races to curb climate change, Africa's green transition is no longer a regional issue, it's a global one. The continent's success in replacing fossil fuels with renewables will affect global emissions, climate stability, and future development models. In this fight, China is proving to be a reliable and capable partner. According to Yang Baorong of the China Africa Institute, China's support goes beyond infrastructure. It's about trust, long-term collaboration, and mutual growth. Africa and China can jointly overcome the challenges of climate change and move toward a cleaner, more sustainable, and prosperous future, Yang said. 
China's global green strategy is reshaping the future. The partnership between China and Africa doesn't exist in isolation. It's unfolding at a time when the world is facing accelerating climate change, rising political tensions over environmental trade, and deep inequality in access to green energy technology. What China is now doing through its guidelines for a nationwide green transition goes far beyond domestic reform. It's setting a new global benchmark, especially for developing nations who are navigating the difficult path between growth and sustainability. In 2020, China set its now famous dual carbon goals to peak carbon emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. Fast forward to mid-2024 and the results are showing. China's installed renewable capacity reached a staggering 1.653 billion kilowatts, making up 53.8% of its total energy mix. And for the first time, its solar and wind capacity surpassed coal a historic pivot for the world's largest energy consumer. An International Energy Agency report confirmed that in 2023 alone, China deployed more solar PV capacity than the entire world did in 2022. This isn't just green progress, it's green dominance. China is leading the way in wind turbine patent competitiveness and exporting its expertise through massive project pipelines across the global south, especially in Africa. The Chinese government's new green transition guidelines, announced after the third plenary session of the 20th Central Committee, outline a comprehensive game plan. They include developing green industrial hubs in areas like Xiong'an, the Yangtze River Delta, and the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area. These hubs aim to merge clean tech, AI, big data, and cloud computing linking sustainability with digital transformation. It's a model that could inspire other developing regions. But perhaps most importantly, these reforms are outward looking. China isn't just trying to green its own economy. It's building the world's largest and most complete clean energy supply chain and making it accessible. From solar panels and wind turbines to electric vehicles and batteries, Chinese products are often more affordable, durable, and scalable than their Western counterparts. This is especially crucial for countries like Zimbabwe, Kenya, or Ethiopia, where price remains the biggest barrier to clean energy adoption. This global leadership hasn't gone unnoticed, but it has sparked pushback. The US and some European countries have accused China of overcapacity in green energy manufacturing, arguing that it threatens their own markets. But this argument doesn't hold up in Africa, where the problem isn't too much clean energy, it's not enough. Between 2018 and 2023, global renewable capacity grew by 10% annually, but Africa only saw 5% growth. In this context, China's exports, especially clean energy vehicles, which rose 291% to Africa in 2023, aren't flooding the market. They're filling a crucial void. What China offers is a rare combination, affordable innovation, scalable solutions, and a long-term commitment to global cooperation. In remote African villages, Chinese-made panels power classrooms where children study under LED lights for the first time. In city neighborhoods, China-backed solar farms stabilize unreliable grids. And in national capitals, green energy projects are helping countries meet their climate pledges without derailing economic progress. For many in Africa and the broader global south, China's model presents a viable blueprint, not one that demands choosing between development and sustainability, but one that integrates the two. As China's guidelines state clearly, green transformation is not just environmental policy, it's a new form of governance, an economic philosophy, and a model of international responsibility. In this light, efforts to restrict or contain China's green influence aren't just short-sighted. They risk slowing down the very global transition the world so urgently needs. Because when China helps Africa transition, the whole planet benefits. Like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on Africa's journey.